One night, an army of mercenaries was carrying a prisoner, an official who had committed an act of corruption. On the way, their car was blocked by an elevator truck. Two members then got out of the car to check the situation, but suddenly they were both killed by a masked man. Other members of the army also suffered the same fate, they were all killed one by one, including the last one who was in charge of guarding the hostage. The masked man then got into the car and approached the hostage and after confirming that the hostage was the one he was looking for, he proceeded to finish him off. From this point on, it was revealed that this man was an international hitman named Scott Walker and the hostage was his main target. When Walker got out of the car, he found out that there was still one surviving soldier who had managed to escape. Unfortunately, the soldier had seen Walker's face as he removed his mask and when he realized it, he immediately reported it to his organization. The organization's agents then sent people to pick him up. As the story goes, Walker ended up at the reassignment center, a special hideout for troubled professional hitmen. Here, Walker will hide for a while while waiting for the process of having his new identity scanned, following the escape of a witness who had seen his face. Afterwards, Walker was taken by a man named Smith to a separate room. He then handed over all the items from his old identity, such as identification cards to his cell phone number. In the same room, there was also a hitman named John, who at that time was scolding and hitting an officer of the organization. When he saw the incident, Walker tried to defend the officer, but Smith forbade him, because he did not want Walker to get into trouble again. The process of getting Walker's new identity replaced continued with the scanning of his fingerprint structure and after that Walker headed straight to his hideout dormitory. There were several hitmen who were also in hiding. On his way to his room, Walker's gaze fell on two women, who were identified as Juliet and Elda. The scene then switches, this time we are introduced to three hitmen named Ray, Maria, and Tom. This armed group was assigned by their boss Logan, to carry out a massive massacre in order to capture a woman. We switch back to the reassignment center, as Smith secretly slipped an envelope into Walker's room. Later on, Smith went to see Michelle, his co-worker whom he's had a crush on for a long time, but until now, he hasn't had the courage to express his feelings. Shortly after Michelle left, the group led by Ray came to the reassignment center, and it turned out that this was the place where they would carry out the massacre. Maria managed to eliminate a guard at the front door. The group then began to infiltrate the center. The envelope received by Walker contained a pendant necklace with a photo of a little girl, Walker's daughter who died decades ago, but it has not been explained what happened to her, but certainly it made him sad after seeing the photo of his daughter. In the meantime, Elda secretly entered the document storage room, then she took the spare key to room number 39, Walker's room. Meanwhile, Ray's group has managed to take control over the security monitor room, then they hack into the CCTV and sabotage the network and block the access to the entrance and exit. Elsewhere, Smith, who was listening to the music, did not notice the arrival of Ray's group who began to infiltrate the dormitory. But when he came out of his room, Smith was shocked when he found the dead body of a security guard. He finally realized that an intruder had entered the facility and he called an emergency alarm. Walker, who was still sad, ignored the alarm. Then shortly after, Elda entered his room along with Juliet. Elda asked him for help because they were both in danger, but Walker refused because he didn't know either Elda or Juliet. Elda then said that she was also a hitman and she knew Walker. But still, Walker didn't care. Elda was very disappointed, then she hurried and took Juliet away. Shortly after they both left, an intruder entered the room and tried to attack Walker. Thankfully, Walker was able to swiftly dodge the attack and managed to finish off the intruder. Walker finally realized that the reassignment center was no longer safe, so he headed to Elda's room, who had also managed to eliminate an intruder. Shortly after, other intruders appeared and Elda came out to fight. At first Walker was still reluctant to help, but because he couldn't bear to see Elda struggling on her own, he finally intervened. Later on, Elda and Juliet tried to sneak out of the reassignment center and headed to the weapons storage room, but on their way, Elda and Juliet were almost caught by two of the intruders, fortunately Walker appeared on time and managed to save them both. Meanwhile, Smith finally ventured out of his hiding place. Finally, the three of them got to the weapons storage room, but unfortunately Walker didn't know where the key to the weapons cabinet was. Then shortly thereafter, Smith arrived looking scared and fortunately Smith had the key to the gun cabinet. While they were choosing their weapons, suddenly there was the sound of intruders heading into the room and when they all entered, a fight was inevitable. Luckily, Elda and Walker were able to overcome their opponents. 
However, Smith unfortunately died in the fight, and Walker was badly injured. They all then went to the medical room. Walker then asked Elda what exactly happened. A new fact is revealed, it turns out that Elda was a hitman who worked for a mafia group that runs a human trafficking business. At first, Juliet was going to be sold along with the other hostages, but Elda's boss, Logan, was attracted by Juliet's beauty and decided to make her his mistress, until she became pregnant with Logan's child. Long story short, a customer intended to buy Juliet and her baby for a very high price, and Logan, who was tired of Juliet, was tempted by the offer. However, Elda, as a woman with a conscience, could not bear to see Juliet treated so inhumanely by Logan, and she then helped Juliet escape from Logan's headquarters. Eventually Logan found out the whereabouts of Elda and Juliet, who were currently at the reassignment center. Ray's group was then tasked to capture Juliet and hand her over alive to Logan. Shortly afterward, Elda went to the security monitor room to recover the signal that Ray's group had sabotaged so they could call for help. Elda managed to get into the security monitor room after paralyzing several of Ray's men even though she had already been injured. In the meantime, Ray became furious when he realized that many of his men were killed, and in the end, Maria and Tom were assigned to complete their mission. Once the signal was restored, Walker, Elda and Juliet then went to a room to look for a phone set, but on their way, they once again had to deal with Ray's men. We cut to Maria, who comes upon three hitmen who were hiding out at the base. Maria gave them a job to bring down Walker and Elda and of course for a very high fee. All of a sudden, a hitman named Roy appeared and opened fire blindly, a shootout ensued until he ran out of bullets. At that moment Walker approached him and shot Roy to death. One of Ray's group leaders was finally killed. Walker and his friends finally got to the telephone room, but unfortunately there was already a hitman waiting for them there. Walker then tossed a smoke bomb to trick the hitman into getting out of the room. Then Walker and Elda sneaked inside, but unfortunately the hitman returned and he hit Elda on the head, knocking her unconscious. He then fought Walker, and Walker was overwhelmed against the well-built hitman. Juliet then tried to help Walker, but her efforts were in vain. Elda, who had regained her senses back, attacked the hitman, and amidst Elda and her opponent's fight, Walker got up and smashed the hitman to death. Right after that, Walker contacted the organization to send them help as soon as possible. It was a pity that they were out of weapons, while the weapons storage room was in the opposite building and the headquarters was still surrounded by Ray's group who might make a surprise attack. With no choice, the three of them had to sneak back into the weapons storage room. When they arrived at the weapons storage area, it turned out that the room was guarded by a hitman named Rocky. Walker then deliberately lured Rocky to another place so that Elda and Juliet could infiltrate the armory unhindered. However, in the middle of their way, the two of them were intercepted by a hitman named Ryan. In the meantime, Walker and Rocky began dueling one-on-one -on -one with their bare hands. Many times, Walker, who was already exhausted, was easily taken down by Rocky. We move on to Elda, who at that moment gave the signal to Juliet to run away while she would try to fight Ryan. But sadly, Elda is stabbed by Ryan. The duel between Rocky and Walker was still ongoing, but this time Walker was in control, he finally managed to kill Rocky. Elsewhere, Ryan, who was getting ready to kill Elda, instead switched to chasing Walker to the car park and without him realizing that he had walked into Walker's trap. As Ryan was near a car, Walker blew it up. Ryan ended up dying from the car explosion. That's when Elda came and stabbed him. While Juliet was heading to the armory, she was followed by Maria. At the warehouse, Maria tried to find Juliet who was hiding. Juliet was finally caught by Maria. Walker finally arrived at the armory and found that his new identity had been successfully created along with a wad of money. Walker was devastated, as many of his innocent colleagues died at the hands of Ray's group. Then Elda showed up and told him that Juliet had been abducted by Ray's group. However, Walker, who was devastated, was reluctant to join Elda to save Juliet. Elda then asked if Walker would bear it if Juliet met the same fate as his wife and daughter. It turns out that Elda knows Walker's background. Decades ago, Walker's wife and daughter were killed by his enemies, a mafia group that also runs a human trafficking business. However, Walker remained indifferent, thinking that saving Juliet was none of his business. Finally, Elda went along to save Juliet. While on his way to leave the reassignment center, Walker accidentally found a necklace belonging to his dead daughter. In the end, it knocks on the door of Walker's heart to save Juliet. While elsewhere, Elda was observing Maria and Ray who were about to hand Juliet over to Logan. When they were about to leave, Elda appeared and made an attack. However, her efforts failed. 
Just as Rey was about to kill Elda, Walker suddenly showed up and attacked Rey. They then fought a battle, and at the same time Elda also fought a duel against Maria. The already exhausted Walker seemed overwhelmed against Rey, but on the contrary, Elda managed to finish Maria easily. After finishing Maria, Elda then tried to help Walker. Eventually, Rey was crushed to death by his own car driven by Juliet. Around the same time, Walker's organizational colleagues arrived at the place where they were. Afterwards, Walker gave Juliet the money he had for the birth of her child, and then Walker got a call from his organization, which would give him his first mission under his new identity. However, before he goes on his new mission, Walker still has to complete one last mission on his behalf, which is to kill Logan, because only with Logan's death Juliet and Elda can be safe. Long story short, Walker has arrived at Logan's headquarters and immediately kills him without many words. At the end of the story, Elda and Juliet finally live happily, 